Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're here one more time. We got one more day of these pre recorded uh, videos. Hope you guys enjoyed Andy Boyd last night doing the blacksmith nails, the rosehead clinch nails. Tonight we have Justin Riley of Riley River Forge. He's not doing any forging, we're doing some hide preparation and brain tanning. How are you doing tonight, Justin? Doing good, Nathan. So, what. How long have you been doing the high preparation and brain tanning, and what steered you toward it? Well, I've been hunting my whole life. This is the actual first year that I have actually sat down and truly brain tanned a hide. I've been doing my research. The more I've done with Flora School, the more I've got into wanting to use more of what I have. So I really did a lot of research, tried to find the best brain tan hide system I could, and so this is the first one. It came out amazingly awesome, and I found a couple other recipes. We're gonna keep continue to do this, but as I build knives, I wanted to actually be able to use my deer hides in my sheets. So this is the reason for the hair on. I think it'll make some amazing front covers for a lot of these knife sheets I'm making. So what what's the um, shooting this and doing this for the first time? What's the biggest? Um, thing you learned the biggest take you you got out of it um good or bad just i mean everybody told me this is this is a long-term process it's not i'm done today start today done in two hours and it really brought it home how much time how much preparation the work it takes to do this um and they always said breaking the hides one of the hardest things you got to work till it's dry to keep it soft yeah, I probably should even work the mine a little bit more, but I'm truly happy with the way these things came out. Yeah, I mean, me looking at the end product, editing this video, I mean, um, yeah, uh, and we'll get to it. We don't give too much away, but um, you did say they, they were a little bit less of what you were expecting, but they turned out great. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, from the start of the nasty smelling hides you did saw to what these are, you don't smell anything other than a little bit of the campfire smoke. Sweet. All right, man. Let's let's get into this thing and start uh, looking at this from um, a spectator's view. And um, you are talking through this one, everybody. Just so you know, um, we are going to try to um, give more information when we can. But Justin did uh, the majority of the teaching or all of the teaching on this during the filming of it. So let's uh, dive right into this and get started.
Don't forget and once again, everybody, if you're wanting to bell. support the Floor School Education Center, there's a donation button. If you're looking, if you're watching this on our website at floorschool.org, you can uh, go right below this video on the live stream um, tab and donate to the Floor School. That is how we are able to operate through donations and volunteers such as Justin here for this uh, demo. That was a pain in the butt trying to get your uh, logo all etched oh, yeah. in there. Oh yeah. Welcome to Riley River Forge. We're not so forging. We actually can't going hear what's going on, but you can surmise what he what you're theorized. talking about so, here. So we're gonna go um, over introducing to everything and my scraping board. Um, if you want to, you can pull this up on our uh, floorschool.org, and you, uh, so you can listen. Okay. To what's so going on, Justin? If you like. If this were same ah, day I fine. shot my deer, brought it home. Bring back, it out. bring I'm back horror, horror memories of messing with that flushing board. After that's so, done, that's yeah, what that is. Really got, it side. needs a nice set of legs. You're gonna use a knife. Yeah, it does. It needs it, uh, the, the board itself Last. is outstanding. Um, oh, I, yeah, I kind of found Anything a cooler kind of board from a piece of driftwood to turn that into. All down yeah. to your material. You're gonna just be scraping off. Every bit of nasty now, that is your knife garbage you built during and grossness. Or, yep. Not during You're this, but you built it. You're gonna get it down to it. this. Yep, skin. that's my. That is this my is hunting knife. That's a competition skin. I've got one. All from. That buck knife challenge one. The membrane off. Yep. All the garbage that I didn't need is now gone. So I mean, you did a really good job uh, walking us through it while we were filming this. And so, this, I mean, having a live interview on something like this is, is really, it really more about all of that trying to get a word in edgewise. You can see my edges aren't perfect. <laughs> I don't worry about near the ends because a lot of that I'm never going to use. That is exactly how we're going to. Yeah, and maybe it down. we need to shoot it at a more wide angle There's next a clean time. Hide. Too. Oh, definitely. I think a good camera getting a nice wide, really seeing, open up and seeing. And a lot of what I'm seeing is, is people were brain tanning them, and a lot of the breaking and stuff was done on the stretching board. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm finding more and more that I hadn't found before. So each one of these stills is going to be about 30 seconds long. So um, they're kind of randomly sp spanned through there. Um, but uh, it will allow you to kind of talk about so we're gonna go anything. I wish you could hear it. I mean, you could probably pull it up where you could hear it in your headset. Each one of these spots you can see here I could do that too. is where I have tied this off, stretched this over this rack. This took about five to six days for it to get dry. Of course, then it would play over uh, my I'm desktop. I'm using paracord. <laughs> you can use leather. Yeah, I'm trying to rounds, see if I can. Just go to really stretch this height out. Search. All I've done. Yeah, we also have to build you a, a just new small enough for your rope to be able to go well. through. Yeah, I've been watching a lot out. of the different ones, and I can't wait to actually build. People one. will save their hides different ways. Some people say cover it in salt, roll it up, fold it up. These sat since last August, dried. I actually rolled them up like a carpet. Put them up in my shop, oh, waiting to get ready for this year. So, there's stretched rack. This is a six by six, two by four rack. So you can do whatever you want. Just something that's going to really allow. So a lot of the stretch stretching out. boards are that square, see, but then they've got a cross I take it off beam on the top corners. All right. So now this is a still, so we can go ahead and uh, really talk about anything now what was the biggest thing that you ran into when you stretched this any any problems any things you had to change you probably can't hear me anymore <laughs> no the biggest thing for stretching is I'd probably have right, uh, so more stretching pieces, uh, right. points to stretch to really get a good, days, even stretch across. This. Yeah. If you put this, the is a, this is an awkward, I don't want to talk over you too much. This is really an awkward video to actually so, do an interview on because it's such an in depth gallon bucket of water you know, tutorial. Yeah. On it. That hide, about an hour and a half, two hours, 
Yeah, I just shut down that YouTube you because to they're trying long, to catch both of them is real tough. You're going to lose the hair off of this hide. There are two ways to do the hide with a brain tan. If you want to yeah, do the hair, I, you know, to do this again, solution I'd probably try okay, to find so me a bigger, like, Lumix tank board. or something We're to put these in. Together. Yeah. Into the water and especially with looking at this battery acid one and the brand flakes and how they do it, it's really kind of interesting. Oof. Oh, see all the air starting to come out. That's, that's definitely really new. Press down in there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, they, you soak it in the, the bran flakes in warm this water to get whatever the chemical is out of it. It's been soaking and then the you strain out the hour, mush of the bran flakes. Now. And you we put the hide in up, with the so acid the and the, the bran flake I'm water this out. back in and soak. I think it was like 30 I'm minutes or an hour. It wasn't very long. Yeah. But I made sure I took copies of all the stuff to really be able to get this down. Oh, it would be cool to try some other ones this winter. Out here. It's all pretty nice and soft, ready to take our brain tanning solutions. Now, they say any animal that has a hide that you're going to bring in, the brain it. of that animal is if you big wanna, enough if you want to bring anything to tan in. that whole hide. I, European mounted my hail. Uh, I can't think. I mean, we really covered a lot of it. I mean, if you want to pause. So I went down to Did, local can you see shop, if people ask friends, questions? Up, yeah, is there any way for. Yeah, I can, but there's not been, there hasn't been any comments on the video sure on the live sure have streams enough. as of yet. So, they're all soft, squishy. And we're going to be mixing this into about two cups of water. We don't need a ton of water in there, too much. We just got extra waste. So, our brain I will pause it right, right here. in there. I mean, now this technically it, it still amazes me that this can be done with one brain from the animal that comes from that's for this hide. Um, that Correct. Each, That's... each animal is has this built-in tannery that can can tan their hide. It, it, it's really amazing. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're talking a rabbit, we're talking deer here, an elk, a bear. The brain size and the brain tannins that are inside there and the oils is supposed to be enough that that brain will tan that whole hide. And it is. It's amazing to think that that animal was created in a way to be able to tan itself. Right, in including us. I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, if someone chose to tan our hide, I mean, they... Tan a human hide, I guess it, it, <laughs> it should work. Right? Um, I'm, I'm not willing to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's leave that to the people you watch on a daily basis. You know, um, but uh, no, it's 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 just that that was one of the, the biggest points that I um, took away that was that every animal their brain was was if you think of an elephant an elephant it, that the brain of that elephant should be enough to tan that entire elephant hide and there's a Correct. lot of there's a lot of square footage on an elephant hide uh, that's huge yeah so all right let's let's uh, get on with the video some more it's not leather it's using tannins to save the hide it's not the same product as you would get if Smoke you were if doing you got them, chemical guys. tan. Back to I don't like chemicals. There's nothing bad for you in here. Bad you know, if we do this again, the environment. when we do this, when we if if you do this demo again, Justin, what yeah. I probably suggest is is maybe we uh, um, you do it you just do it silently. Exactly, and that may be a great thing to do. Uh, especially with having some idea of how long this takes um, to be able to almost do a full recording of everything silently, doing the work, like I said, and you be able to talk through it um, and be able to do, uh, what is it, like the, the where you speed it up? Yeah, yeah, where you so, can time lapse it all. Exactly, to where you can see even more of what's going on in the whole video. Yeah, because then basically what you would do is, like in this instance right here, you'd have your centralized working station and you'd have your camera set up with all your stuff there and you would just film and then we could talk about what was going on and then it would be sped up in that post-production. You know? Right. And then it would... I could keep pretty much everything in there um, and then you you could just talk about what was going on. Right. Is the video froze here? No, I paused it. 
Oh, okay. Just use your hands. There's the brains in the water. Squishing this all in. A lot of now, this you did mention right here, probably a, maybe a blender would break this down a little better. You'll have some uh, oh, definitely. Brain parts you know, left when we get getting done. even more of those but enzymes out of that brain that than just what, your hand, uh, just what your hands yeah. do. You're not doing it? Blender, um, I've drill, seen people use a uh, like a paint mixer on the end of a drill. Yeah. Anything that's going to really move that stuff, stuff around and break it up in that all water. The out of the brains yeah, because I'm, I'm assuming, and I could be wrong, that, that the, this, the more, the more you can break that brain down, down, the better the tan is going to be. Oh, totally. You're getting more of those oils and those tendons out of that brain mixed well, into the water. Brains, your water um, is definitely and definitely, you're, yeah, you're just getting that much more off up, into, it's going to get into that high. Squished in there. Yeah. So what made you actually well, choose say, the brain blender, tanning over, let's say, urea tanning or um, uh, ground, before. burying in the ground? No, my mom said the, the way she's done it, she's buried them in the ground to, to, uh, to tan them before. Um, what made you go with okay, the brain so tan? Okay, so we've got our wonderful you know, brain tan. You, you see all the movies. You'll, looking, you, you'll hear well, about here, a lot of the Old West, how they did do. things. This and the brain tan is the one that always comes up. Yeah. Always using the brain. Off, and so it's job, always so been something I wanted to try. Hand. And I'm like, okay, it's but time. I've got the highs. I now have a place to be able to do this. So let's get started. And brain tan is the first one. Next one will be... This brand and battery acid, we'll see. Going to do and I gotta an talk to your mom because I'd be curious to find out how her I'm gonna very end up spending days. Yeah, she, I mean, she. Start to finish. I mean, that's I the only way she ever did. It, so. on each one of now, this, highs, this is the portion the where board, your shoulders out. and your forearms now, and your fingers hour, and everything hour just hour started to absolutely realize what a chore and this is is that correct this will probably take oh yeah i mean it, it wasn't a problem tan it, skinning really it that's simple i do it all the time uh, cleaning off sure the hide wasn't bad at all that I've but man you are really body, well this all is where it starts that it's taking you're really the brain working solution. all those tenons all that brain matter into those skins and this starts the true process where you're going to start feeling it yeah, okay, so I, I know when we, when we get into the next phase of this, it was bit. like, I got you know, you, you've already been doing this for a couple hours by the time I got there, and, but just and, you, were, and you were beat then, and then we put in another later couple stages. hours. We're take our knife oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I was really up. sore sitting down all day long doing nothing. Made it real tough on you. Yeah, right. Put it on the fire to start. No, it was definitely interesting to see. Okay, so here you well, see and, kind of the you know, change form. Like I say, the more I keep videos I've watch, the more I look off. into this, I'm gonna no. to be able to keep that hide on a stretching night. rack when I'm you start breaking it really is going to be really interesting. Yeah, I'm going I'm to pause this real quick. So we went from yeah. when you were just starting in that corner where you're working now. Now everybody can see... That, that that hide has been pretty well worked over. This is like 45 minutes to an hour after that initial, uh, when you put that brain tan on. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. I actually, we, we quit filming and then cut back and forth between it because it was just this, it was, I mean, massaging skin. You know, the, yeah, it's, you know, it's not the world's most exciting, that's for sure. Exactly. So um, that just you put everything in perspective. There, there's a lot of time lost within this video. At, I mean, I think it took what a month to to get this fully finished. Um. Yeah. I mean, if if you take the actual amount of time to really do this, you're looking at I've got two to three solid days into doing this. Okay, so it, it legitimately would only take days if you if you just just powered through it. Oh, totally. If I had nothing else to do, um, you've got. I mean, you can go from directly from skinning it to putting the brain tan on there, letting it sit for twenty four hours, putting it on a stretching board, starting to break it and dry it, um, depending on what your weather temperature is. It's going to be dry possibly in a good seven, eight hours, <clears throat> and then go directly to smoking. Okay, so you're so is that how you're going to probably do it from now on? Is is you're going to go straight from skinning to tanning? 
I'm going to try it. Uh, the problem is, you know, you're talking October. That's hunting season. So yeah. depending on what the weather is, if I can get away with it, I'd love to try one start to finish because I know that's how they did it. They didn't have time to dry a hide, let it set till summertime or spring, yeah. and then come back out and break it. Well, I think what we need to do, make sure to do deer season, elk, whatever it is, whatever you get, we, we, need, we need to get the whole process from the the initial hanging and skinning all the way through cleaning the the everything i mean i think it's important that you see it's that whole um from the field to the table from the field to a knife sheath whatever it is oh totally and that's that's this this next one's going to be kind of interesting to do to be able to get that whole process down yeah, and when you go get ready to do these into um, sheets and stuff, uh, be really cool to see that filmed, and we can put that up here as well, kind of as a as a, a look back on okay, where did these end up going? Type of deal. Oh, definitely. All right, well, let's get back onto Especially this video. Around the edges, I may not have had it. So, so now you've you've just explained you're going to use well the butt. I wanted to. Uh, Some of these are still kind of tough on the edges. To just help break that I'll down, what, work that in, you're a masseuse, and. No. Just you know, just to help soak that body. skin, that it hide, soak up those those tannins, the enzymes, the oils, and everything down. else, correct? Yeah, definitely. And around the edges, it's still a little bit harder than anywhere else. So that's really where it's, that's the that's the harder part to get it to soak into. Yeah, because like you said, I mean, you, you uh, shot this in October, and it sat... It was clean, scraped, and then it sat until what? Uh, March, May. M March, May, March, April. Yeah. May, somewhere like that. April, probably April. April. So it, it was it was pretty pretty crispy. When oh uh, yeah, they were they were it was it was paper dry. Yeah, it, it, it was crispy. So now that this, this is it's finished being um, it's not tanned yet, but all the all the um, the brain is on okay. it. Okay, because that's so, what you're explaining. Right, right. it's all prepped. It's yeah, all the go. brain was on it. We I were getting it ready to fold up out. to we're let it set for the allow the brains, today. the tendons, the oils to do all out, the work. It would dry this hide yeah. out, and we'd be starting back over. So this my one. shooting was uh, so was a two day it. process. We did it one day, and then we came back the next day. I'm going to put it in my And we're getting ready to see what you came up with, and then what we ended up doing by the end of that that day, which was soon to work 100 times better. Really soak and into we'll this. Get, oh yeah, we'll, and we'll get more into that Once when we get to that there, stage. So. We're going to be coming back, and I'll start showing you how we're going to what they call breaking the hide. So that's our next step. I wanted to put like that that okay, SpongeBob so thing in there twenty four the hours later. <laughs> there you go. I couldn't find it. Plus copyright and all that good stuff. On there. Right. So I've decided since this hide, which I did not skin, was not done. And the weather the really potential. cooperated when we were doing this too. So. Oh, it was, it and half. I look back at this now, and I mean, I've got the nice two pieces out there, but I'm like, man, if I could have had right that right as there, one hole, that hole yeah. so that, right is, that is my goal. This worked out well. The next one will be a full hole, complete, <clears throat> exactly how I want it done. Yeah. And maybe now that you've shown a traditional way, of doing it maybe next time um you do so, like the brain tan is we show it in a more conventional way than instead of instead of uh strictly staying with the traditional way of doing it what have you worked into your process to make it just a little bit quicker type of deal oh yeah because i mean they have those uh, they have those abrasive top, stones those pumice stones and everything um, that you can put on uh, that are on, attached to up. things to like drills and stuff in, that you can probably break this hide off of a, a little bit quicker. I don't want it on. Um, if put um, that back here with the other one. you had that process, but since you're showing more, more traditional, then a drill would kind of, you know, whatever. Right. So you have your post method that you that you have, or which they probably would use a a, a, a limb, cut limb, a limb, a sapling. Uh, either a stump of some sort. Yeah, something that's got kind of a point, but still a little bit rough. Yeah. All of this, there, folks, that that either the post, the tree method, that it's an extremely good shoulder. Okay, workout. guys. So this is not somebody that wants to be done in five, ten minutes. This is a lengthy process. And the rib method as well. Just you use. this morning, I've spent yes. almost two hours 
working on some really one thing we didn't show pieces. is the last method that we you ended up really really liking but we'll get to that now I, it did it did seem that the smaller pieces, pieces the that you were Let doing that early morning um, took but to I mean, the break a little bit better than what it those, looks the really larger dry. chunks. I mean, if oh, it wasn't dry, yeah, because you know you're working can, something small you and you've got constant. I mean, These, that's a whole say, lot easier I to handle than while, that full They've sat to let high. some of the hair yeah. dry, and I'm just going back over to make sure they're nice and small. It's going to dry out. Make them. Oh, definitely. All broken. They'll change a little I mean, that thing smoke. looked done. I mean, you can see they're dry. Yeah. And they flop. And they're still a whole lot softer. Yeah. And they weren't even smoked. Stick, I didn't get the small I've piece of smoke because I was into the just ground. trying to get those big kind ones wrapped around the there. Yeah, and those are those remnants you cut off that were super, super hard. But not cutting through the hide. So this works really good. The, the, those, those little no, end pieces? What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of moisture in this. And it's all got to be out before we stop. I like starting so we did do some that's we did do some time lapse quick, in um, portions of this just to help speed holes. it up a little bit. We got to be kind of um, careful, so we're but I was able to link up audio with time I'm lapse pretty well the um, edge, during the video. So the like when you're smoking it, I time lapsed a lot away, of that, but we were able to keep all your line. audio and you talking during that. And all it is is back and forth rubbing. Go get my heights. They're in. You're not putting a ton of pressure on there, but some. This is definitely over this wood not the easiest way what this reminds me of is like hand sanding and how your fingers just just want to just cramp up because you're just constantly trying to grip this wet slippery thing that you're messing with and right. you know your your hands have just by the end of the day your hands have just got to be terribly sore see and i could see this working really well for beavers rabbits your Something smaller small. game yeah not not your big hide. Your deer hide is so large that trying to do it over this. Now, if you had, say, two people or four people to be running it over a big log and using it that way, sure. Yeah. And this was interesting. I mean, the, the rebar seemed to even, being as it's ribbed, would have, but it, was, it, it really looked awkward to be able to do it. I'm sure it felt awkward trying to just keep it where you needed it to be. It was. It kept wanting to fold in under it. So, yeah. it, I mean, like anything, if you were doing it a lot, I'd probably take that and stick it into the ground and have some type of brace off top so you really have easy access to it. Yeah. And the tree method was the same thing. It, it, it was that it was really no different, just a different angle. Exactly. So but the tree method made ways. sense to me. You that, saw me out there uh, in on my breaking. Made total Definitely. sense. If that's that would be would have been one of the ways, one of the more more common sense ways of doing it. Um, of course, all of them were kind of that that way. But the tree method and the last method that we ended up on really made sense. That that that's that's probably what they did. Type of deal. Oh, definitely. And then using that. That stretching board to really yeah. do a lot of the breaking. I can see, I mean, especially with a stone, because the flex of that wet hide is moving. It's not going to rip, and you're going to be breaking that down as yep. it dries. Plus, as you bring that water down, it's drying itself out. Because all, really all you're really What's doing, because all you're really doing is, because all you're really doing is, is, is elongating the the fibers within the skin to kind of open them up and to pull them apart a little bit, but not so far yeah. to the point they rip. Okay, just to just stretch it. Okay, guys, yep. so you're kind of seeing the change. We went from that beautiful Now, what the trees did do, it put a lot of, of a lot of tree tannin into the skin. Oh, yeah. Skin. Um, now, that trees you were, I'm sure there were some trees out there that probably would have the correct tan, uh, tannins in them to where it would even, it would even um, help tan it farther. I mean, would that... Oh, yeah. There's there there is bark our, tanning. Where I can they squish all this. Use tree bark, and that's our goal when we get done to be, have about the consistency. Yeah, all the way around. So this next one is the one the barrel log and stone method seem to work the best. You know. Cause, oh, definitely. Because like you're saying right here in the video, 
is right, if, you, so if you're liking stone, how the, it's that stone, that stone against that hard backing is, is stretching, is it's really pulling that and keep it that height, and we could see. Um, coming so, from the tree, how much that hide is shrunk, gonna rolling it, and now moving. the same hide is like, more of it. you know, we'll enormous after you've gone over it a few times. Yeah, it was Actually, it almost doubled in size once out. it got stretched back out and started breaking. It Plus, this really squeegeed off that excess moisture. Now, would you go to a clip method at this point if you were going to put something back on the stretcher at this point to use a stone? Would you would you uh, use right? uh, non-abrasive like uh, tension clips through. so you wouldn't have to put and any I'm holes sure in the height again? More more, no, because you never. More yeah, they, to, I don't think you'd ever get enough a of a hold on that; it. It, it'd slip right out. I've done um, six hundred of these. So once you bring it off the stretcher, it's it's done. Not going back on. Pretty much, and that's why I think really leaving it on the stretcher to do this whole thing if possible would really be a great deal yeah do, do the whole tanning breaking everything and then and then break it again maybe over the barrel once you get it all dried out if it needs to yeah yeah, yeah i thought this method and and that rock we found guys was literally just laying right behind us you know it was, yeah. like, it was like it was like the perfect rock Oh, definitely. And it was kind of cool because all of this ground that, that your property sits on is all all riverbed, anyways. Yes. You know, so that was either. I mean, it quite possibly could have been brought in at some time, but um, it, it might have been a stone that had been laying there and just brought up to the top to the top of the soil, you know, for eons, and now it's your chosen method of breaking heights. Exactly. Now it's an essential tool. Yeah, well, it's basically what the Indians and the, and the uh, fur traders would have done, you know. Yep. Found found objects and find something they really like, or they may not have they may not have, they may not have packed a stone with them because that's the excess weight you got to pack with you. They they would have just found that perfect shape of a stone, and then where they settled right, down to do this, they going. probably would have just grabbed it another one wherever they were at. Right, but you got to realize most of these areas, they're gonna, their hunting grounds are the same every year. Yeah. So they're going to be breaking the hides in a certain area. So Those stones there. are going to be left there, and they're going to be finding them the next year, most likely. That's true. All right, so we're probably. Yeah, you guys. I mean, I mean you can see just how tired you are right now. I mean, I don't know when you got up to do it, but so I got there. I think at like eight, nine o'clock, and you'd nice already been white, doing it for real soft, like. An hour yeah, and a half, two hours. Spots. These were holes. Oh yeah, I was up around six easily done. that morning, starting Man, to work and see what I could get here, done with those small pieces. I really like how that how the you. hair just kind of it looks coming off that past, that hide on the back. Soft, it's, Man, the you can tell that something really other right than the, the natural process had been taken to to preserve that that hide. Oh, definitely. Now, I said this is how turned out great, brother, for your first time. I mean, you couldn't ask for better. Oh no, I'm I'm super happy with this. Like I said the only thing could have made it better was a full height. Yeah, as the only thing. But this one was also that one tinge to it. Now we're gonna get to it. This is the hide that had all the cut holes in it. Yeah, this was the one that was cut up. Keep it nice and soft. That you didn't skin. Help keep bugs. I did not skin it. The only hole that was in yours was, of course, the bullet hole, and then yep, where you. Uh, tied it onto but, the stretcher. I mean, shoot. Correct. Anywhere that it was tied in the bullet hole was the only thing. Now, folks, if you remember Strong when that done. came out or went into the there, water, you could damp. not do that. You could did everything is, you possibly I mean, can to just fold it back up in the creases that were originally there, there from where you first stowed it. Hardening back. I mean, exactly. Up, it was it was hours like and hours of work. Like, they've all been lost. Uh, hard tack hard. Yeah, it was like folding up a piece of cardboard. Yeah. Getting this stretched and like out. you said, this isn't it's leather. This this is always the just a tanned even. hide, a, pres a preserved and you see hide. Correct. Hide stretching Correct. Out. Uh, just, it all what up, do they call this? Making it the best. I mean, isn't just be. called leather, or and we're really stretching that thing out. You know, it's it's considered like a leather. It's it's just a tanned hide. It's your leather's a little bit different, thicker, we get done here, heavier, we'll put it up different. Against the other wet hide, you can kind of see procedures, different use. major differences yeah. in them. So, if you were gonna now, is that one we're gonna see here pretty soon where the hair came off? Would that be considered leather? 
and we're almost no you're still the same thing where this uh, is gonna be that would be more where they use for done. like making more rawhide we'll give her a little bit okay. of sun time if you, here to kind because of all your rawhide it. is is Go back over with a stone again untreated so, leather well, so if i would have stripped that one. out that high, and let it dry it. that's more your raw Maybe hide. a little bit less this was the bigger piece so there's the, but, there's I mean, your uh, hide you right over no that's the second that's the half other half to this one yeah this that's is, the other half that's so right. you could, yeah. we could see the yeah, difference yeah, of it's flexible but what it looked like after it's been broken before anything like that still got that sheen yeah and, to and it. you it, no this is actually it. bigger the one that you just so, got done um breaking is, from, is a little bit say, bigger than that one on the right there and every day and it's oh yeah definitely so this took a pig brain to do it not much difference in size than a deer but man this is gonna be super fun Made some nice knife sheets. There you go. Still got the hair on it. That one turned out We've great. The hair on it. Of hair here everything. And there, but that's to be you know. Oh, definitely. You got, him, you got him right there next to you. Yeah, I'm breaking off. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So. You make yourself a pair of got a wonderful today. today. Yeah, I, well, the first thing will be a knife so, sheet and probably some type of satchel. Trying to use a cool. breaking tree that we made. Done a little work on the rebar, took it out to a tree. All those are different things you have. I mean, this, hopefully what this does is, is show people rock. that, you know, hand, even nicely, even a beginner um, can go out there so and, got, and make a very high quality product. Protein, um, pound yeah, there's some things here. that need to get better, nice but, to it. you know, in and, the scheme of things, uh, it, it, it wasn't this. a fail. Sawhorse. Oh no! This this was nothing but, a, but a amazing and keep it way nice. to start to see this what you can really, do, I think, gonna see be what you can learn, trick. prove that I'm still we can still do way, things the way they were done. We don't have to have using a the bit of what greatest fanciest now. things out there. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to pay somebody down. five hundred dollars to tan this hide for. Right. So this so hide right here, place. you didn't do any other breaking on it except for the stone breaking. Kind of this one, this section. Um. Yeah, I think that one only had the stone. Okay. So what's the difference between the two? Is there a decided difference between really the one that you did cool all the other ones home. with and the one that you just did the stone? No, I don't think there was any major difference on them. I mean, even the finished edges. product of what you can see, said, there's not a whole lot of difference break it down, between it's still too the hard. two of them. Some of this stuff, oh, wow. I might that's, end up having to add a little that's water That's to interesting. It, so. But I guess the only real difference would be that um, breaking it over the barrel with the stone isn't as intense for your body. Yeah, no, it, it did. It was not. I didn't, you know, it didn't hurt my body near as much. And you're just wetting it down here right now, just to give a little bit more moisture in there because it did start to dry out just a little bit, right? Yeah, those were some dry spots, and we really wanted to trying to break it and get it flattened out right the way nice so it all looked there. nice and, and more really uniform. Work these corners. The hard and that's parts. the one big clue is you can always re i mean even these ones i've smoked i could still get wet again and do some more breaking on them if i wanted to which which you're probably going to do for whatever, no, whatever think, application uh, you have going on a little bit of flexibility into that no i'm probably going to cut out water and what i want to use down. for like my sh uh my little bag yeah and i'll probably just do some dry breaking just rubbing it and it'll loosen itself up without getting it wet again you can make a um, a uh, ball and powder bag. And I might exactly. put a little more water on yeah, it. I need something still, something to go with those black powder pistols. That's gonna be cool. But we'll keep working. You can make on a big old mountain man a mountain man blade with the uh, with day. the hair on freaking sheath then too. Oh yeah, that would be a whole lot of fun. And being that they're a little bit stiffer. Now this is where. It um, wasn't if planned. You don't care about correct? the hair. No, definitely I can not. We made it look planned, right into this but it water wasn't planned. And let it sit for three or four secret, days. Secret, secret. It wasn't it planned. It will guys. actually soak but, into uh, that hide. But we did a good job uh, a making it look planned. You're gonna have to eventually because you originally wanted two hides with hair on, the brain will and which I'm kind of glad you didn't get two hides with the hair on because then we got to see this process. You can see a oh, lot totally. Of already come out of some of the other it's a dirty process. On. Holy cow. Uh, this will kind of give you an idea. Taking that hair off is a nasty here. process. This stuff's just going to start pulling right I don't want to take you to clean all that crap up. I may have to go back into the water again. You just rake it up and throw it yeah, in the No, I just raked it up. That, it was easier cleaning it up than it was taking the hair off. 
So are you going to take this and, and, and make rawhide out of it? Really letting go. Uh, I will really probably make some rawhide out of the one half. The other half I want to wet down again, Once break, and do a... Uh, just a hide off, off tan on it. I'm gonna yeah. take it over. So I'm gonna this went on. I don't know how, how long you scraped it for, but because so um, we, I didn't put the whole thing so in there. Because um, it's one of those deals that once you see it on, once, you know, it's kind of okay. Scrape of it. it. Don't cut it. You know, don't dig in. Um, what yeah. type of being a blacksmith now? What type of tools are you looking at building to make your job easier? So there is the hide scraper. Uh, basically, looks like a lot like a uh, a draw knife. A lot like yeah, it's a draw knife. Uh, instead of having the bent down handles, it's normally a straight off bar, and your handles are right on the edge for bringing down in given the same direction of what you see here. Yeah. Uh, that 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 is probably that flushing blade is probably one of the biggest tools. And then I also know that uh, a lot of people use like an abs type or a hoe uh, for helping break because that way you've got that dull edge that you're scraping with, removing fluid, liquid, and breaking the leather all at the same time. And definitely would have been even period correct because they all had, everybody had hoes, whether it be a stone or steel hoe. That's true. Once I get this done, I don't want any hair left. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Maybe I did leave all of really But nice it's, it's going to be interesting weather. to see how your um, tanning progresses as you get better at it and really as you, you figure out the here. process a little more. Build the the, um, the apparatuses out. that you need that are that are permanent structures and you don't have a buddy stealing them and tearing them apart and building a chicken coop <laughs> out of it. <laughs> so, which I appreciate. But, um, and, and then having a section in your in your multiple abilities to where they, they just slide in and when you need to bring them out you bring them out and and, uh, and put we'll them in there up, uh, so, exactly so smoking is is really and where you get that we'll the the end you. product uh, preservation okay right? here you can see my right. tripod the, the smoking up. is your last I've got deal. my broken it hides helps keep bugs from up. wanting to get around it it should work better if I had more hides so that it was away. really yeah. well covered helps keep the insects away it helps I don't oh, want a big fire. Hopefully you're not seeing too much skin flame there. with that some water smoke on it so it doesn't bind back I up. Helps get rid of any sure. nasty smell. Um, more smoke and finishes that spray. drying of anything that's there. Wood in there. Yeah, so uh, what would you do different? I think you talked about in the video, but what would you do different with this um, smoking your next tights? Helps keep them so soft. So the next helps time I smoke them up. I'm looking for a wool blanket. To be a little bit more uh, flexible. Wool is the greatest thing because these hides are going to take about resistant. two hours, probably yeah. three. And really, if I had more time, a big canopy maybe smoke them even a little bit longer. To keep that smoke but going up in it. This also helps um, take and the nasty smell away. And then trying to get a bunch of green wood. Like nice I use uh, here. a rotten so, old stump I had. Smoking uh, away. Some other wood that I had soaked. That would have been smoking for almost green. Probably almost a month. Yeah, I had in a bucket of water of just smoke. soaking it up uh, uh, so that it wouldn't burn too hot. Even in here, you can see kind of some of those flames yeah. getting yeah. higher than I want. And maybe that's why it um, your your hides kind of turned a little hard on you is because it got it got too hot. No, it's no, it's they. Uh, there's not there's no problem there. You can see that they kind of singed a little bit in a couple of spots. Uh, but it, these really didn't harden up any after the smoke. So maybe think about getting um, something that has like. Uh, um, really antibacterial properties in it, you know, some, some uh, heaven forbid, burning cedar, but or something like that, a green, something green that would, the smoke would impart that kind of the, the antibacterial, antifungal, any, oh, definitely. you know, type thing to it. I, I don't know. Cedar would have been a major, would have been a major use of uh, for them. Cedar, sage, yeah. um, sagebrush is a huge one. Yeah, well, we got um, The natural issue. hardwoods that were around. Yeah, we need to go uh, collect sagebrush and have you have you a uh, sagebrush collection. Exactly. So. 
So we're getting ready to wind down here. There's just, there's a, there's a little bit okay, left. Okay, so now you did show you put a sleeping bag around. Did that seem to help to a little better? This. I wish I had oh, a immensely. Uh, it really is great. I, it's fire again, resistant. Again, trying to be careful we don't start you can any damn fires. It down a little bit if you but need to. But it really, I watched just the hides go from this white to this beautiful brown that it is, and it really got good. Keeping my fire small still. Trying to help push some more of that smoke into those hides to really get them. If you do start doing this with every single one of your hides, it might be beneficial. Blanket, to build a it smoking would probably TV. be wrapped all the way around. There, oh, totally. Just with you just, you just hang him in fire. there. I keep throwing and, water and you know the flame would be far smoking. enough away to where yeah, you're, you, know, you don't want you don't want to keep it you know super hot, but you necessarily wouldn't have to tent tend it as okay, much. Okay, everybody. So these are the hides. Oh, totally. And if I had a lot of greener wood, almost three yeah, hours. I wouldn't have. This stuff was just Man, dry that nice, enough beautiful that brown. I now, had to keep watering it. Down. These probably didn't get. So that's the end product, guys. It's dried it's, out. I've not just seen them. Well. I've seen them. You can this hear it on the video. Stiff. You can hear it there a little bit hard, but nice not bag. near as what this they were be before nice they were This material. This one's a little bit softer. Got broke a little bit better. They're actually still pretty. Took that smoke really well. But look, and you have oh, them right there in your beautiful lap. hide still yeah, on so there. So here is one of them. Nice and I smell, said, nice see, look to I it. Can pull this thing Doesn't up. smell, but anything but smoke. It's, I mean, they're still a little bit, but that's what she looks like. All they done. They pulled out. They can still and, be broke I mean, a little bit more, nice moved around, played it. around with. They'll still soften up a little still bit. Still smells like a campfire. It's um, been it's fun. I hope you guys learned something. Your hair's all still nicely on there. So yeah, this is was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for uh, doing this for the school and everything. And uh, hopefully next time, uh, well, there's not hopefully. The next time you get an animal up, you know, I'm probably going to be there and I'll just remember to film it at that point. Oh, definitely. And I, I'm going to throw this out there. Anybody that does harvest deer, elk, that wants to get rid of their hides, throw it in the freezer, donate to the Flora School because there will be more of these being done. Yeah, you can get in touch with uh, with uh, me or go, go to the Floor School Education Center of uh, either Facebook or the uh, floorschool.org. Phone the contact number, contact info is on there. And Vanessa Thompson, the president of the board in the school, has we've already talked about doing a class of some sort. So collecting hides is one of those deals. So once again, Justin, uh, really appreciate it. We'll see you again on Saturday, and uh, for your live demo, you're going to be doing and. Uh, Thank you, brother. Have a good one. No problem. Have a good evening. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Here's a little sneak peek of tomorrow's demonstration. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell.